he read a boxing magazine at dawn and then Mike Tyson emerged, surrounded by bodyguards, his promoter Don King behind him. He wore the black smock and white cap of a Muslim convert, but said nothing. Seldom can a prisoner have emerged from here into a stretch limousine. Tyson's newfound humility, it seems, has its limits. But he seemed happy to leave. Oh, yes, yes, he was relieved to have this over with. Very calm, he was very calm this morning. He went first to a mosque to pray in private, the man who converted him seeing a new Tyson. Sitting in front of me in a very humble way, uh, there is so much of humility, sincerity in him. But Tyson is unrepentant, still claiming he did not rape Desiree Washington. She is angry at his early release from jail. Tyson returns today to his mansion with its servants, swimming pool and bowling alley. But he'll soon try another sport. He was the youngest man to win the heavyweight title and the youngest to lose it. He wants to regain it. The financial reward would be enormous. Tyson says he's a changed man. He has four years on probation to prove that. The question the boxing world wants answered is has he changed as a fighter? That should be known within months.